Alola! Alola, everyone, and uh, welcome to Pokemon Moon, episode number 42. I'm the one known as the Kahuna of Route 12. Hope to battle me, then beat every other trainer on Route 12 first. Indeed. Rocky terrain. It's about as rough a path as you can find, but I'm not to see gallop will get you right through it. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> so, between episodes, I did do a uh, little bit of extra work. Actually, I went in and did some uh, some side quests and things. Yay! <laughs> I like that he's run over this with this. I mean, Mudsail is like really, really slow, but still. Like, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> yeah, so I went out, I did some minor side quests. Um, did a couple of those, like, catch this Pokemon for somebody so that they can get, like, they can give you some money and stuff. <laughs> Cute. And that kind of thing. Um, I obviously went out and I uh, changed... Changed my outfit a little bit more. Um, I, I really liked the blue and like um, the blue and white scheme, but with the 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 black here on the halter top, I thought, well, maybe white and black would look better instead of white and blue. And I do actually. I like this. I like this a little bit better, to be honest. They're both still pretty good, though. The other one's still pretty good, but... Oh, I just like this. This looks good. I like it. It really it really matches up with the halter top there, since it's got the white and black, so... I thought I would do that, because I like it. <laughs> so, there's that. Let's fight these guys. The weather in Alola is nice. It's too nice, so you get why I want to get Rowdy, right? A weak trainer blames losses on his or her Pokemon. Indeed. That is the truth. Punk Pear, Yoko, and Lane. Alright. I like that they're kind of like, sort of wearing the Team Skull outfit, but they're also not. Like, they don't have the pendant, and like, they don't have the, like, thug mask. But beyond that, it's like, they're still all looking pretty similar, you know? So we got Krakrok and Pancham. So that's interesting. Krakrok. And Ember will use Z-Power for no overdrive. Pancham. I even went in and uh, changed the glasses from the blue to the black as well. So there's that. I want to get the pink outfit out of Sun. I've heard that you can like trade outfits or like getting get them from Festival Plaza. Or something. I haven't like tried it because I haven't loaded um, Pokemon Sun on like a different 3DS. But I heard that there was something like that that like you could get it from other people somehow. I just don't know how. So that's something I will look into at some point, or you know, just wait until Serebii comes in and finishes their uh, thing because they haven't even like finished their Pokemon their customization yet so bad no way it's cool with me bad dude that I am so let's go again I'm a punk guy I'd be a punk to give up don't call me a punk girl that makes it sound like I'm a bad kid I mean, that's what your trainer class is. <laughs> so there's that. 
Hello, there's a trainer way over there. It's important for Pokemon to be cute and strong. I really probably should do some grinding here in this area before I get to the trial. Because the trial is probably going to be like level 37. So I should probably get my Pokemon somewhere around there too. But luckily we have experience here, which is great. I just still don't really get why a lot of people didn't like the experience share, but eh, what can you do? I like the experience share. I have no issues with it. It allows me to keep my entire team, you know, well-rounded and at roughly the same level, you know. I guess there's something about, like, EV training with it, I guess. I don't know. I guess there's something involving EV training that's why people don't like it, but I again I don't really get it to be honest. It doesn't really make much sense to me. So Yay! It's possible to lose when you're cute and strong? What's up with that? I mean being cute and strong isn't all there is. <laughs> I know, because I am adorable. You use the island scan, you can sometimes find Pokemon that you don't usually meet in Alola. Remember to say that the Pokemon you meet in, meet this way will vary by island and by day. Island scan? What's that? I'm a little confused. I don't know what island scan is. I've never actually heard of it. On the Alexa. Alright. I'm sure that is, I'm sure there's something. It doesn't look like it's a Rotom Dex feature. Or if it is, I don't know how to use it. Maybe it's something that I could have gotten by this point, but like I haven't. So a wild Geodude appeared. Nice. Just what I was talking about, uh, catching more Pokemon actually. Or thinking about it anyway. Cause I've been thinking like I need to catch more Pokemon for Pokepelago and all. Um so I've been think you know, thinking how do I uh where should I go to catch more Pokemon? And I did a bunch of catching of Pokemon back on the first island. Um not nearly as much on any of the others. Just really here. I even went out and bought, like, Pokeballs. You see, I've already used 9 of the 20 Pokeballs I bought. So, this is the 10th one, so you can see right there how many more Pokemon I've caught. Yay, Jared was caught. And I'm probably not going to end up using it. I usually don't. But it's yet another Pokemon that I can add to Pokepelago now. Geodude Alola form. Let's see, if you accidentally step on a Geodude sleeping on the ground, you'll hear a crunching sound and feel a shock ripple through your entire body. Rock electric type. Send it to box. Yay. Here's another Pokemon. Another Geodude! Yay! <laughs> I don't need another Geodude! I do not need you. You did great out there. Go on, Rake! Yay! Ha! <laughs> Good thing! Good thing! Yep. Oh. I meant to use sparkling area. Oh well. Bubble beam should work just as well. Yep. I probably would put Rake up front, but the Pokemon... Ooh, Super Fang. Heck yeah. Um, we'll remove Assurance. I know some people are going to be like, well why use why Super Fang? 
Because Super Fang is actually really good when you're trying to catch Pokemon. Because it always does half health. In fact, now actually I can use this team to catch Pokemon. I was having to use a completely separate team. That way I could still get my, um... Uh, that way I could use False Swipe. But now I can just use this team to catch Pokemon with. Pokemon battles are life. You're bashing our way of life. I'm not bashing nothing. What are you talking about? Also, freaking bell net keeps going off because I keep forgetting to turn it off. <laughs> Oops. The problem is that like I have bell I opened battle net, you know, for like World of Warcraft and stuff like a couple of days ago, so that I could talk to a friend of mine. And I keep forgetting to like close it because I don't really need it. So I don't really need it open at the moment. Oh well, what can you do? So I've been thinking about doing a novelization of Pokemon Moon. I thought that would be fun to do. But I really wasn't sure, like, what to do with the characters, you know? Like, I want them to be unique from, like, other Pokemon stories and things like that. Chip away. I don't actually know what that does. Just damage, I guess. Weird. What else? Time to care. The joy of victory, the agony of defeat. That's life. Indeed. I understand that all too well. <laughs> so I've been also been wondering what to do as a series after this, um, now that I'm like releasing two episodes a day, like I was thinking about, it, I was like, you know, usually I do two series on my um, channel, but I've noticed that I don't really care for doing two different series because it kind of like makes it harder for me to be interested in the game. Moves with high accuracy, moves with high power. Hey, allow me to experiment. Like, if I play one game, I do like seven or so episodes, and then I move to another game, I do like seven or so episodes, it cuts down on my interest in the previous game I had played. And it's like, eh, I don't know that I want to go back to that right now, you know? Um. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but... I'm thinking that I might stick to this one series, but two episodes a day strategy. Um, see if that helps out better with me putting out more content. You know, I really do enjoy doing this. It's just... I haven't found a good... You know good content that I've wanted to do and that's that's super important you know not just doing something but doing it because it's something you want to and that's been my real struggle with trying to do YouTube it's always been like oh I've got to do this and I've got to put out all these episodes and record all the stuff and but like if I just did it because I enjoy the game you know Maybe that would change my interest in doing the series, you know? So, it's like I stopped doing my World of Warcraft series a long time ago. Or like a month ago or whatever. Maybe two. Because it was, yeah, I think that I stopped it and stopped doing it in like September. So, like I was doing the World of Warcraft series for a while, but I just didn't enjoy doing it, you know? Of course, 
It was shortly after that that I stopped playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> you have to be able to read your opponent's thoughts in addition to the statistics of a move. You also can't sit there and use, you know, boosting moves when you're sitting there getting your frickin' butt handed to you with two hits. I mean, there's only so much you can do there, bud. Actually, I could have gone through the grass here instead, but I just noticed that. Lots of people drop things when they're making their way through Ula Ula Secluded Shore. You should have Stotland and try to search them out. You might find some real treasures. I'm guessing you mean this place down here? Yeah, Secluded Shore. Hmm. Alright. Oh, there's a Pokemon feeding on the berries. It's another Crab Brawler. Every time. Every time it's been Crab Brawler. Like, literally every time it's been Crab Brawler. I'm wondering if that's the only way to catch Crab Brawler. I did catch a Crab Brawler at one point. I think I did that on stream. On, not stream, but on, like, recording. But I don't remember. Also, I got that tight matchup completely mixed up. <laughs> Oops. That sucked. Um, fighting is weak to what? See, this is why I'm really glad that they have this system. I can never remember what every type is. So it's really nice. It's like, what is fighting weak to? Just look at all of my Pokemon. And then I'll find it, you know? So yay. There's that. Knew you could do it. Her baller fainted. I'll have to use a revive on poor Trevor. That is one thing that I do enjoy carrying. Like, usually I'm like, yeah, potions and stuff. But, like, that is something that I'm glad to carry, revives. Because you never really know, you know? Still more berries underneath the tree. Dear Luna. Dear Moonlight, there are five berries there. Most of the time I only get two. Or not two, but three. Most of the time it's only three. I also have a crap ton of extra stuff here. Oh yeah, I went out and bought um Thunderstones a Thunderstone and a Waterstone. That way I had one of each. Um Because I was like, yeah, I needed uh I might need that for, um, uh, Eevee. Also, I found out that that egg that I had was actually an Eevee egg. I had not initially been aware of this. Merriam Z, Snorlium Z. All of these other ones that I'm just not compatible with, which is unfortunate. I mean, you can only have one on each Pokemon. So, wow. There's a lot of slowpoke here. Indeed. You can look, but you can't touch. Or, actually, you can touch, but you can't catch. All the slowpoke on this beach are managed and protected by the Alola region. Sure. That's fine by me. So here's a couple of swimmers. I end up finding a couple of swimmers while I was off exploring other areas um, off camera the other day or not the other day but yes or today actually I was doing it just today um, I found a couple couple of new areas that I hadn't gotten to before because they required like specific ride Pokemon like I got to um, all of these like water areas like Kale Beach and Mele Mele Sea. Um, so I got to those because of uh, having the right ride Pokemon. I actually haven't gotten down here yet because um, there's rocks in the way and so I'm not sure what to do with that. I also haven't gone to Hano Beach yet but I did get to like some of these other areas that I hadn't been to yet. So, 
Caught some new Pokemon in different locations. Did new things. Um, got some uh, some Zygarde pieces, which was great. I went out and got some Zygarde pieces. Um, actually, I'm so far on Zygarde that Cena was calling me to uh, where she is right now, which is apparently Route 16. So obviously I can't get there at the moment, but, you know, I get there eventually, so... Um, but I think I'll go ahead and end this off here. Uh, we'll deal with these couple of swimmers in the next episode. And, um, yeah, we'll just continue along this route to our next trial. So, I'll see you guys next time. Alola!